So in this Coachman VIP that we're in at the moment, we've got a Dometic refrigerator. Uh, there's a couple of different variants of this particular model. So this one is what I call an under work surface uh, refrigerator, but you could have one that is a larger variant, so it's a longer, thin uh, refrigerator, taller one in other words. Uh, but the operation of it is exactly the same. Firstly, uh, we have a double handle system to gain access into the refrigerator. So we could access the fridge from this way if we wish to, as you can see, and it's got a freezer box. Or, if I close that one up, I uh, can also access it from this side too. So you, it's your choice as to how you access that refrigerator door. If you're left or right-handed, or you prefer it to swing open one way or the other, you can actually do it from either side. So to actually now get the refrigerator to be turned on, you press in, in the round button, and you can see you get the Dometic symbol, and the fridge will automatically go back to how it was last set and working, which in this particular case is on mains electrics, and the setting is on its fourth gradient. So there's five different variants within the temperature setting. And you can see by the solid bit of the, uh, of the gradient as it goes up, there's four sections there which are illuminated. If I want to change something else on there, uh, well, let me just show you a couple of things. Uh, so it's a scroll button as well, which is not changing anything at all. Press and hold it. And I can now change a couple of things as you can see, yeah? So. Let's say we want to change the thermostat, press it in again, and now I can change the thermostat setting. Yeah, hopefully you've got that, and you can see it's on full illuminate, uh, fully uh, full control now on its highest setting. Press that in to confirm it. So say that we actually now want to change the source. If I bring the main symbol up that we had, press that in, and we can see we've got a variation now of symbols here. So uh, you use that scroll button to to make the changes between the different symbols, as you can see. So I can have it on auto mode, which is that one with the square around the auto, or I could have it working on 12 volts battery while in towing. That is to use gas on site or mains electrics on site. So basically you've got those two choices there between the gas symbol and the main symbol for operation on site. The 12 volt battery you only use while in transit from uh, your home address to your caravan park where you're traveling to or you could have it on an auto mode. And if I select it by pressing it in, I've now selected auto, as you can see. Uh, you want to now come down to the escape and you can see I've got auto with the main symbol. It prioritizes mains electrics as its uh, preferred energy source. But if mains wasn't available, so we haven't got the main supply turned on for some reason, then it would automatically try and find gas as an alternative. And if the gas supply is not turned on, it would then go to the battery side of it. So on auto mode, it will select the energy source depending on what's available and what you actually want it to work from. Uh, but uh, that's how you do that. But let's just go into it again. So I'm gonna press it one more time. There's your thermostat. Uh, scroll it to the uh, energy source, press it in because we wanna access it. Symbols in, uh, as you can see, I've already explained. Let's go back onto gas now. Let's write it on gas. That's on gas. Come to the exit. That's exit. And there you go. And that's a very simple part of working to that particular panel. There are further uh, menus that you can go into, which allows you to illuminate the internal cupboard slightly uh, with more illumination, things like that. But there are further menus that you see on this bottom line down here below that flame symbol. Um, and I'm not going to go into those at the moment, but they are there and it's just user if you want to set them up for your own personal taste. But that's uh, how quickly you, you can work the refrigerator. That's self-igniting and uh, it will obviously freeze the refrigerator to the desired temperature as you've left it. Thank you. Oh, I need to tell you about the refrigerator door. So, you can now see that we have got some illumination in here via this... Uh, LED lighting system here. Right, on the door, there's a little catch that will pull out and it can happen on this edge as you can do it on this edge here. And it's to keep the door ajar. Oops, should go into that location there. It's to keep the door ajar when in an inner storage uh, location. So basically you're putting the vehicle away for three months, say over the winter period, you're not gonna use the caravan. 
you want the door to be left ajar so that you don't build up uh, smells and mildew within that refrigerator. Obviously, there's condensation can be involved. You don't want it sealed up. You want it to ventilate, and that's how you ventilate that refrigerator. When you want to close the, that catch, just push it back like so, and then the normal latches operate. So just to show you that feature as well. Thank you.